Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna talk about uh, what I've learned over the past year of using this room and uh, how we're gonna take it from good to amazing uh, in the next couple of months. So I'm gonna turn this camera around and discuss what we've done, why, and how we're gonna change it. So initially the room was designed with the golf impact screen here uh, to be uh, right across from the garage door. The idea was that now in winter time, the garage door will open up and I can hit from a heated spot, hit outside and hit to, uh, to our golf green out there. So let's go take a look outside here. There's a pond here and across the pond, let me see if I can zoom in here. And there you can see over there, the golf green It's a hundred and from inside is probably about 150 yards. So the reality is that I never use this. Like right now it's, you know, it's minus 15 degrees outside and it's nice and 20 degrees in here. And I don't feel like heat, opening this door and letting all the heat escape and, and hitting balls outside. So, you know, while it was, you know, a romantic idea to begin with, it uh, didn't work out. That was the idea of having the screen here in the middle because it would be across the garage door. Um, and then over here, this was a basketball court. This is where we raised the ro roof, whoop whoop. And um, so we could shoot free throws here. We can, you know, take the ping pong table, move it aside, and then we can just shoot free throws. So what's gonna happen now, we're gonna remove this screen, this 10 by 10 screen with only a, a 16 by nine uh, image on it. So the top and bottom of the screen isn't really projected on. And we're gonna get a new screen and we're gonna, uh, this whole wall from here across is 17, it's a few inches under 17 feet. So we're gonna have a 17 foot wide screen and 10 feet tall. Um, so it'll actually be, it'll be able to do a six, 10 by 16 image. Um, and then we're gonna get a new projector. We're gonna get, well, I've already ordered the, the uh, BenQ uh, 936 ST. And this is a brand new uh, projector that's being released. It's actually on back order for everybody, um, but it's got amazing reviews. It'll do, uh, it'll be able to do an image this size, which is, it's a 19 foot diagonal screen. So this projector is it's a laser projector. It does 5,100 lumens. It's 4K, it also does 3D. So I'm getting some 3D glasses with it. And we should have amazing, amazing movie nights and uh, golf simulator. So right now, um, right now in the golf simulator, I'm hitting probably about nine feet away from the screen is where the tee is. Um, so it's, it works well, it's, it's nice, and we've got the netting up top for, you know, when you take your 60 degrees or your 56s and, and you're hitting the net up top to protect it. Uh, and the curtain's sliding out. We did a, uh, or I did a three quarter inch galvanized uh, piping solution. I just kind of came up with it. Works great, inexpensive, super easy. Just, you know, uh, screws, screws together and then you just screw in the, um, uh, the flanges into the ceiling or into the ground for the two posts there and you could build whatever you want um i th think all with all the connectors and everything it may have been like a hundred bucks in parts maybe um and that's for this design where i have the curtains that slide um so these here these curtains i got from amazon they're like 50 bucks each um and these are two of them and they pull out to be about seven feet across it's great any shanks uh, the curtains just swall swallow them right up and it just falls straight down. Uh, so those work great. And then, you know, it's, it's wonderful that you could just put them away and opens up the entire room. So these curtains are going to be now on the left and right sides. Um, the screen is going to be, you know, we're going to be instead of nine feet away from the screen, we're going to be hitting from about 12 to 13 feet away from the screen. Uh, so that's going to uh, really have a, a much a much uh, nicer feel of hitting the ball and seeing it launch off, um, getting a sense of where it's going. Uh, the Unicore system is great. Uh, it, it catches everything anyhow. Um, and we are going to do, uh, the ground here is actually, as I said in another video, it's going to be uh, the same turf. We're getting more of it, so we're gonna cover the rest of the ground here. But as we get closer to the screen, about two feet away, the ground will start to incline up about six inches uh, into the screen. So when we're looking at the screen from the golf simulator, 
or sorry, from the tee, um, the ground will go right in to the screen and continue uh, off into the screen. So it'll be a really immersive experience. And it'll be, you know, pretty much your entire field of vision um, straight across. So it should be a really great, great update. Um, looking forward to it. I'll take you through that process. Once the projector and the screen and the turf and everything arrive, we'll start to take uh, everything down here. Um, so we are gonna take the screen down and then we are going to take the control center um, and the secondary screen, we're gonna take those out and move them here, kind of behind where the screen is now, because it's, as you can see there, it's the wall is kind of, it's a false wall, it goes back about two feet. Um, so that'll be nicely indented in the wall there. Uh, and then this whole area will just be the movie theater and screen. And then behind me, uh, all this area will be cleared up and this will be a proper lounge. We'll get proper furniture in here. Um, and there'll be like a lot more lounge space. So we're gonna get rid of the ability to shoot hoops, which we don't use too often. It's nice when we can, but um, it'll, be, it'll be a million times better for everything else. So that's what's coming up in the next little while. Um, and in addition to that, we're gonna be building a guest house on the other side of, of this uh, clubhouse. Uh, with a loft and uh, we already built uh, the, the brick patio for it out front um, So that'll be the next project after this, but it should be about another month from now uh, where we have all the equipment hopefully the projector comes in and then we just move some things around we rewire everything to the new locations and then fire it up Welcome to my golf sim upgrade um, I went from using a standard HD 1080p 16 by 9 projector on a 4x3 size screen and I went to a 16 by 9 4K HD projector to a 16 by 9 dimension screen uh, and this is the entire build up. Uh, over here you can see uh, I've built a little ramp that goes up to the screen and now I'm taking down my old 4x3 screen. Then I'm putting together the frame for the new screen using 3 quarter inch galvanized piping which just screws in together. You just get the right sizes that you want with all the proper connections. Uh, so I've hung up the top bar and now I'm hanging the new screen which is a Carl's, Carl's Place premium high impact premium screen. Uh, so I'm putting together just the top bars for the for the framing for the screen. I attach a screen and uh, attaching all the hook and loops all around to tighten it up. Now I picked up this 10 by 10 uh, golf netting from Amazon. I've got uh, two of them, and I'm basically hanging up, attaching them to the top bar of the frame and then pulling it tight across the ceiling so that when I'm hitting my wedges it goes up and it gets gets trapped by the net. So that's done now I'm putting up the galvanized uh, bars that I'm also using for hanging the curtains. These are 10 foot velvet curtains that I purchased on Amazon as well uh, and I just hang them to the side of the screen to catch any air and balls. For flooring I've decided to reuse my existing uh, gym mat flooring which is basically it's uh, it's a five mil foam backing with the artificial turf on top. This stuff is amazing. It's usually about eight bucks a square foot new. I was lucky enough to find some like Gigi for a steel. Uh, so I moved everything over and made it fit in the new area. And now I made my own little shelf uh, to hold the projector and another one to hang the Unicore QED. I had a little bit of a challenge because I had to hang it, hang it so that it's, I think it was like nine and a half feet was the, uh, the maximum could be off the ground and I have the garage door here which I placed um, to basically hit golf balls outside uh, and I had to make sure that this is basically right above the garage door when it opened so it didn't leave me very much room 
Now I'm just doing all the wiring through the ceiling. Um, I've got access to that ceiling. I can walk up there um, from outside. This is, a, this is a, in a big drive shed. Now I'm calibrating the new projector. It's the BenQ LK936ST. Amazing projector, amazing image quality. Um, even with lights on, it's, it's fantastic. I mean, it's much better with the lights off and so forth, but it is, it is a, I can't say enough about it, how, how nice of a picture it is. It is a 4K picture at, uh, on a 19 foot diagonal screen. And you can see I have TGC 2019 up there and just configuring everything and that's it. Hey everybody, welcome to the updated clubhouse build. We've reconfigured uh, the whole layout of the room. Uh, we've got the new uh, 17 foot by 10 foot wide screen from Carl's Place, a uh, premium impact screen. We've got some curtains on the left and right side to catch some air and balls. Uh, we've got a BenQ LK 936ST uh, 5100 lumen, I think it is, 4K laser projector, which is amazing. We've got a Unicore QED uh, launch monitor, which is also amazing. We've got a secondary display. We've also got a third display uh, that we could also watch sports on while we're doing full golf. Um, we've got a ping pong table here. We've got a garage door that opens up and then you can hit from inside out to, uh, we've also got a 3000 square foot green but 145 yards away that you can hit from inside. I'll, I'll show you that too. Um, and then we also obviously use this as a, as a movie theater uh, for you know, amazing movie theater experience. I installed some new speakers on the ceiling with the new Denon Amplifier 760 ST. Uh, so we got full Dolby Atmos as well. Um, there is a time-lapse video going from the old setup with an old 10 by 10 screen in a different projector and a completely different layout with uh, the basketball court. You can see a basketball hoop up there. The ceiling was raised in that section for the initial setup so that we can shoot proper shots to a regulation height net. Uh, unfortunately, you know, you live and learn. The this, this setup didn't quite work well for golf and, and, and movies and that was really the primary purpose of the room. So we kind of rejigged it up and uh, we've got the uh, this is this type of uh, turf is a gym mat uh, flooring. It's usually about eight bucks a square foot, and I got a crazy deal on it at the beginning of the pandemic because some of the gyms were closing down and uh, somebody put on uh, sale at, on uh, Kijiji. So here we are. We got Whispering Pines up on GS Pro in the first hole. Um, so as you can see, with the turf going up into the screen, it's just very you know it's it's very. Uh, continuous and it's just very immersive. Uh, it's a little thing that you could do. Uh, it's also great because you can attach the screen to the 2x6 that runs along the bottom there. So we're building a little a little ramp here up to the screen. It's basically two feet wide and then it's a bunch of boards that go span across the 17 foot room. And what I did here is I just took a two by six, a bunch of two by sixes, um, and uh, just mitered off the top for an angle so that the board sits flush with it. And then you can just walk right on top of it. So the carpet's gonna come up uh, into the screen, which allows me to raise the screen off the ground. It allows me to screw the screen in right to the two by sixes uh, with the bungees. And uh, now when I putt, there'll be a natural uh, roll back and when I hit balls, after I hit the screen and they drop, they'll have some rollback as well. Um, we'll see how this, how this works out. Um, we've got a, just a, uh, a Core i7 uh, running it with a uh, RTX um, 2060 NVIDIA card, uh, which now is not nearly good enough for a GS Pro, unfortunately. I mean, it still works, but it's a, it can, can be a little bit choppy. Uh, but otherwise everything seems to be working okay and then we've got over here we've got the movie theater seats just pulled out people you know you can just grab a seat grab a drink um, and uh, and just enjoy themselves thanks for watching uh, and if you're interested in any of the past videos on the actual build of the room uh, those videos are there as well and you can see the completed room as it was 
try in the prior setup. If you have any comments, please uh, let me know. I'd be happy to, to share any, any of the things that I've learned along the way.